Hi, I'm Sonia, and welcome back to my channel, Sonia on Being 60. So today we're going to do another low carbifying of, um, of a dish. And today we're going to low carbify pasta. So I have here the traditional kind of pasta spaghetti, which I will cook up. I want, I want to show what a cup or a cup and a half of pasta looks like. And then I have this, this is fettuccine, and this is made with konjac noodles. Very low carb. Again, um, we'll see what this uh, looks like and tastes like. And then I have a spiralizer machine that I want, I will spiralize. I have some zucchinis, I have some carrots, and I have a butternut squash. So we'll spiralize those. And what I'm going to do with all of them is I will then, like I'll cook the pasta. This you essentially just rinse under cold water. Now people say that konjac noodles have a bit of a smell to them, so don't smell it. <laughs> Don't stop. Um, and then all I do with this is then put it in a frying pan and kind of a dry frying pan, kind of let it really um, get all the moisture out of it. And then what we'll be doing is we will be just sauteing the everything else like separately in a bit of olive oil or avocado oil, salt and pepper, and some pesto. And this is the pesto that I'll be using. I just picked this up from Costco. So it'll just make a nice you know, a side to, to a dish. You can add chicken, you can add shrimp, you know, essentially what, whatever it is that you want. Now, I bought this spiralizer two years ago. <laughs> I've never used it. So today's going to be a first and I'm really hoping it works out. Um, of course, you don't need a machine like this to spiralize vegetables. You can, you know, you can buy, they have these little, you know, smaller, like, very inexpensive little attachments that you can just essentially attach your vegetable to and you just kind of turn it and it will spiralize. Or sometimes even in the store, in the grocery stores, you can um, buy, you know, vegetables already spiralized. So this is really just to give um, a sense of the different carb values for everything. And uh, yeah, I'm not trying to make something taste exactly the same, like in terms of, you know, the Pasta is fairly high carb. I'm not trying to make something taste exactly the same as pasta. What I'm offering is something that's delicious, that's an alternative to eating pasta, and that would fit your low carb lifestyle. Before we get into this, I just wanted to um, talk about something for a couple of minutes. If any of you have been following me and have watched some of my earlier videos, you know that I'm all about the positive thinking, about doing things that, you know, make you feel good, that make you feel happy, that, you know, uh, being grateful for things, smiling, that kind of thing. And I love sayings. I love, you know, the, the motivational sayings because there's so many of them that just resonate with me and just say, and I say, yes. You know, that really makes a lot of sense. And those are really good words to kind of live by. So I just want to share one of those uh, motivational sayings that I heard this week. And that is, Wh whatever the target is, the arrow will follow. I love this. Whatever the target, the arrow will follow. And essentially that means that you have defined the target. You have defined your end goal. And once you define what your end goal is, you will take the steps. You're, that's your arrow. Those are the steps and you will take those steps to reach that target. And I realize, you know, I talk a lot about, and I've talked a lot about setting goals and using SMART, you know, um, a goal is specific, it's measurable, it's attainable, it, it's relevant and it's timely. And when you follow the SMART principle, you are setting, you set kind of what is the end goal? What is your target? And for me, uh, you know, with a lot of things, like with my, you know, Ironman training, well, my end goal is to do an Ironman. And 
I have all the steps that I have to take in between in order to achieve that goal. Now, when it comes to my YouTube video channel, I really don't have a target. I just want to this is something I've always wanted to do and it's something that I decided I'm just going to start. But I don't really have a target. And when I heard the saying this week, having a target, the arrow will follow, has made me do a lot of thinking. More to come on what this channel is going to be. I have not really fully thought that out. And, you know, I go from talking about motivational things. I talk about... Um, my training, I talk about my way of eating, I'm trying to do some videos on recipes now. I'm not really sure what the actual target is. When I know, I'll let you know. But for now, let's get back to the video and I will chop up some vegetables and then I will show you how the spiralizer works. So I'm almost finished with all of my veggies. Um, I just want to show you what I'm doing with the butternut squash. So essentially, I, I peel it. Um, it. You know, I find it's a little time consuming to, to do the squash, but I find the peeler is the best thing to get that, that skin off. Now, I won't bore you with uh, all the details or all the time it takes for me to cut this thing up. So I'll be back in just a jiffy. Okay, so here we are. We'll try to spiralize this zucchini. All right, so here I am. I'm gonna to try to spiralize um, this zucchini and we'll see, hopefully this will turn out. So you just turn on the button. beautiful little zucchini zoodles and now I will try just to go ahead and spiralize with the other vegetables and see how they turn out. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong here. Um, you know, just getting these little tiny things. You know, I don't know, I don't really understand. Anyways, zucchini works, uh, but we'll still fry these up and, uh, you know, they're, they're still really nice and thin. I get a couple of like, oh, I guess the odd one in there is, is nice. I don't, oh well. We'll see, I'm sure it'll still be good. Now I'm ready to um, cook everything. Yeah, my, I don't know, really know what happened with my butternut squash in terms of why it didn't want to spiralize. I'll have to research that a bit. Zucchini, nicely spiralized, nice zucchini noodles here. What I, ha what I have here, it's 100 grams of butternut squash. I have 100 grams of zucchini. I have 100 grams of the konjac noodles and I have 85 grams of the pasta. Now I will cook all of this up and I will make it with the, like I said, the um, pesto sauce. That will, take, that will take a little taste and see how it is. And I'll give you a sense of what the, uh, the carbs are for each one of these. All right, we've got the finished products. Um, so this little bowl, is the konjac noodles and I'm gonna grab a little fork here. I'm gonna give that a little taste, see what that tastes like. Um, the noodles really don't taste like anything much. Um, I think of anything, they will be the closest to pasta that you can get. I mean, the obviously it's whatever you're putting on these noodles. It just kind of absorbs the flavors. Then I have some of the butternut squash and 
Oh, and I just put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of everything. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes delicious. I love butternut squash. And the pesto with it tastes really good. And then I have my zucchini. Um, take a little taste of that. And I'm good. Tastes great. Um, I put a little bit of oil in the squash, about a teaspoon of avocado oil. I didn't put any oil with the konjac noodles. I just let it warm up in a dry skillet. Then I added the sauce. And then you have your regular pasta. So, I mean, regular pasta is going to taste like regular pasta. I'll just take a taste of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be honest, I guess I've never been a, a huge fan of pasta. It, again, it's all about the sauce. It's To me, the sauce is what makes it. Um, and like with the contract noodles, same thing. You don't really taste the noodle per se, so it doesn't have a bad taste, but it is satisfying as, um, as a pasta alternative. Now in terms of carbs, I don't have the carb counts right now for the vegetables, but I would say 100 grams, or maybe eight to 10 grams of carbs in there. For the konjac noodles, I do. Um, in 100 grams of konjac noodles, you have, I think it was like two, two grams of carbs, um, that's it. In the pasta, one serving, and this is one serving, 85 grams, you have 63 grams of carbs. So you can see that, you know, just by, you know, looking for some alternative types of food, uh, so use vegetables, or like I say, the konjac noodles. Now the konjac noodles, I found these at the bulk barn. I know some of the natural food pantries sell them. You can buy them online and maybe your grocery store has them as well. So there you go. Car low carbifying a pasta dish. Ho hope you give uh, some of these veggies or contract noodles a try and uh, let me know what you think. And if anybody out there has a veggie bullet and knows how to spiralize, get the, you know, the, um, uh, butter not squash to spiralize. I would love to hear how you do it. I'm, I'm gonna keep watching some videos and uh, let's see if I can figure that out. But I have to say, so far I love that machine. And the machine also shreds and slices. It's got another attachment. And I remember when I bought it, it was not expensive. I think I paid like $60. I think that's why I bought it because it was like, oh, that's really pretty cheap and it does all of this. And it looks like, you know, like it did a great job on the zucchinis and I'm sure it does a great job on the other vegetables. I just don't know how to do it. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, I'd love it if you would hit the like button. And if you'd like to see or like to know, um, be notified when I do other videos, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you and have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.